Good evening, little friends. It's been a long time since I read you a new story, but I'm finally here. The location's changed a little bit. My rocking chair is in a different place, but that doesn't mean I can't still read you a story. And tonight, it's going to be The Musical Life of Gustav Mole. It's an interesting story about how music begins and travels with us for our entire lives and can change us and alter everything about us. So, as with the beginning of anything, it starts small, simple, kind of silly, and then it grows and grows into something deeper, like all good music does. And now, The Musical Life of Gustav Mole. Lucky the mole born into a musical family. Rockabye Gustav, don't you cry, mother will sing you a lullaby, father will play the violin, sleep baby Gustav, breathe out, breathe in. A musical home is never dull. Three happy animals, one, two, three, playing a trio, do you see? Someone is clapping, yes, it's me. Father plays the violin, Mother plays the oboe. Frog plays the cello. He's a very fine fellow. Musical moles learn fast. Four happy animals play a string quartet. I conduct them with my rattle, but they aren't at all upset. Father and hedgehog on the violin. Mouse with a viola under her chin. Frog is on the cello. He's a very fine fellow. <laughs> The more, the merrier. The more we are together, the merrier we get. Five happy animals playing a quintet. Father and mother on the violin. Hedgehog at the piano. Badger plays the double bass. Frog is on the cello. There is no doubt, he is a very fine fellow. Music is made to make friends. All the animals have brought their musical toys to play school. We sing, dance, and have fun. Spike and I play the drums. My cousin plays castanets and trumpet. It is deafening. Really good music. Mother shows us how to make our own instruments. She says it will help us to understand music better. Froggy shakes beans in a jar. Spike blows the bottle flute. Little Badger plays the pan and spoon. I play the bottle phone. At school, we learn to play real instruments. This is Badger on the triangle.
This is me on the recorder. This is Hedgehog on the xylophone. This is Mouse on the drum. This is Frog on the tambourine. Music is for singing. We learn to sing together in the choir. We sing all our favorite nursery rhymes, like Pop Goes the Weasel, Old MacDonald, and There Was an Old Lady, This Old Man, and There Were Ten in the Bed. Music is for everyone. Once a year, all the animals get together for the Village Music Festival. Some play, and some listen. Frog and Hedgehog rehearsed for weeks. The highlight is the flute and harp concerto, played by Frog's cousin from the Frog Harmonic Orchestra and the famous flautist, James Badger. Music is for dancing. On my birthday, my parents take me to the barn dance. My paws are carried along by the catchy rhythm of Big Badger's piano accordion. We dance until we ache. <laughs> Listen to Fox playing the guitar and singing sad folk songs. My eyes fill with tears. Father and mother, I sob. I want to be a real musician. Days dissolving through my mind, I feel around and find you are no longer where you used to be. Escape. Father gives me my first lessons on the violin. You will have to practice every day, he says. In music, there isn't any other way. Now, do like I do. So I practice hard. I do like he does. Why is he making that face? You are practicing too hard, my friends shout above the noise, but I take no notice, and in the end, I win a scholarship to the music academy. I want to learn all about the orchestra, so I go to a concert performed by the famous Frog Harmonic. In order to show you how a big symphony orchestra is put together, Benjamin Britten has written a big piece of music, which is made up of smaller pieces that show you all the separate parts of the orchestra. Here is Purcell's theme played by the whole orchestra together. I will never be able to play like them, I think. Not in the percussion, not in the wind section, not in the brass, not in the strings. Those frogs have a special gift the rest can only dream about. Only the percussion family, all those drums and gongs and things you hit. We hear the woodwind family, 
the flutes, the oboes, the clarinets, and the bassoons. Here comes the brass family, the trumpets, the horns, the trombones, and the tuba. Now Mr. Britton arranges the personal theme for the string family, the violins, the violas, the cellos, and the double basses, and of course the harp. Frogs have a special gift the rest can only dream about. I don't stay sad for long. I go to hear the birds and the reptiles jazz band. Parrot plays the trombone, Satchmo snake the trumpet, and tree frog the drums. Cockatoo is on the keyboard, alligator is on the double bass, toucan plays the banjo. Tickle those ivories, cockatoo, dig that crazy toucan, twist and shout snake, see you later. Next day, we form our own jazz band. Put your hands together, please, for Badger on the tenor saxophone, for Fox on the double bass, for Hedgehog on the drums, and last but not least, for the leader of the band, the great jazz violinist, Gustav. I return to my studies. I am still determined to be a virtuoso. I give my first recital. I feel wonderful, but something is still missing from my playing. My tutor says, you are good, Gustav, very good, but I'm sorry, you will never be a frog. poster appears on the Academy Notice Board. The great Maria Frog is coming to sing Carmen. At the Opera House, her pictures make me weak at the knees. I must have tickets. So must the others. We are all madly in love. The passionate music flows over us. Carmen is, well, overpowering. But in the chorus stands the cutest little mole. My heart and my head are filled with music. In my room I begin to write. I have found my musical self. 
I am going to be a composer. Beneath the balcony of her room, I serenade her with my lover's lament. I know she is there. I heard her giggle. Suddenly my happiness, my head and my violin are drenched with cold water. She does not love me. I flee in despair. My life is over. I hurry to the music shop to sell my violin, but my friends won't let me. Don't do it, Gustav. You need your music now more than ever, they plead. They are right. My violin is all I have left. My broken heart will never mend. One day, I am sitting sadly in the snow, playing my lover's lament. Suddenly, she is there. She has heard the tune. Gustav, you short-sighted silly. Maria was jealous. She threw the water. Marry me, I cry. I will, I will, of course I will. Music has brought us together again. Oh, I wish you could have been here at our musical wedding. My musical life has been very happy. I have enjoyed every sort of music, listening and playing, dancing and singing. Now I am a successful composer, and we are very happy. All seven of us. Lucky the Mole, born into a musical family. And, just as it said, the musical life of Gustav Mole. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy many more to come. Good night.